Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise Newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Osenball. And I'm Dylan Sonny Burke. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. The Animal Shelter pro Building Project in St. Mary's County has been approved by the County Commissioners this week, which means that the county could see a new shelter within the next few years. Calvert and Charles Counties have been sharing the Tri-County Animal Shelter in Hughesville for the past 50 years. Following Calvert County, the St. Mary's Commissioners voted 4-1 to in October 2018 to approve a standard county shelter with the intent to transition the facility to a low-kill slash no-kill center. The County's Department of Land and Use Management this week reviewed noise ordinance data with commissioners after a six-month investigation. The investigation took place after the department received reports of excessive noise from three sources within the county. Go-karts with a gasoline engine as at a single-family dwelling, rifle target shooting in the backyard of a single-family dwelling, and rocks being loaded onto metal barges at a marina for construction. Marin's noise standards set the maximum number of decibels that are allowed to be heard on a receiving residential property affected by the noise at 65 decibels during the day and 55 decibels at night, between 10 p.m. and 7 a.m. Veterans Day was on Monday the 11th. In honor of that, we're, ta we're talking about the story of local veteran Bertram Gagnon. He was born in Quebec and came to the U.S. when he was four and a half years old. He settled in Maine and was naturalized when he was 13. Gagnon served in the Navy from 1956 to 1962. He went from serving in the military to running a restaurant. Starting off with a small ice cream stand in Mechanicsville, he later expanded it into Burt's 50s Diner. He sold the business years later. When discussing the military, he said, I learned so much. It gets you out the door and it helps you to gain respect. I got to see the world. The St. Mary's Board of Education will use about $84,000 to purchase new emergency management technology to better monitor school visitors. The software will cost more than $41,000 a year to maintain. The St. Mary's public school system received about $60,000 from the U.S. Department of Education Justice Community Oriented Policing School Violence Prevention Program. The money was meant to enhance security specifically at Great Mills High School, but the school board instead approved spending the money to purchase around $69,000 in licensing from Raptor Technologies that would benefit all county public schools. School officials explained the benefits of advanced placement and dual enrollment at Wednesday school board meeting. They broke down what to expect when enrolling in AP or College of Southern Maryland classes, both of which can earn a high school or college credits. For dual enrollment, a student needs to be in junior level standing and have a minimum of 2.5 GPA to take college classes. Taking AP classes gives students college credits if they pass the associated tests. This year, around 1,500 students are taking the AP classes. On Saturday, five SMAC boys soccer teams will play in the state semifinal contest with a berth in the championship game at stake with a coveted victory. The Leonardtown Raiders boys soccer team is the lone team left playing from St. Mary's County. The Raiders under head coach Robert Hoare are undefeated at 18-0 on the season. Runners from across the Southern Maryland Athletic Conference will soon compete to first state championships at Hereford High School in Parkton. Oakley Olsen, the 3A girls state championship from last year for Huntingtown, will look to win her second consecutive state title, but Great Mill sophomore Cooper Brotherton who won the 3A South Meet crown last week, looks to challenge Olsen at the conference. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit smdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Osenbaugh. And I'm Dylan Sunnyberg. Signing off.